forecast for the month of November 2017 for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, or Aries Moon. It might also be helpful for you to watch your rising and moon sign. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on demand slash the alchemist astrologer, where you can access a variety of videos on love, finance, and well-being. Now, the underlying influence is this Eight of Wands. And so for some of you, there's a lot happening this month, and it's happening quickly. Maybe you're dealing with pushy people. Maybe you've been putting forth a lot of effort and you're going nowhere. For some of you, you're having to act quickly given circumstances. There's some obstacle that you're facing that you're trying to overcome. So something is happening quickly. Either maybe you're traveling or there's some communication or some blockages that have been in place previously. Now get removed this month. Some opportunities open up and you have to act on those. You have to act quickly. For some of you, this is wrapping some things up. There's some conclusion to a situation. You're getting some news. You're moving ahead on something. You've got some new ideas. Again, for some of you, this is a job offer or some kind of business deal or travel that you're taking. Uh, but for others of you, those who couldn't get past the Five of Swords that first week, and there's some family issues or financial problems, there's some delays for you this month. There's some disruptions to your plan. Something has stalled, or it's moving very slowly, and it may be centered around some disputes, some jealousy, some marital issues, are perhaps some third parties, but there's some kind of setback where you feel out of control. Some upsetting news has crossed your path, and maybe somebody's forcing an issue. Maybe somebody's being too pushy, or they're just some ill-considered decisions that result in problems or waste or miscommunication. So this is going to be a month where just about anything could happen. You may surprise yourself, circumstances, other people are going to go against the grain, and uh, nothing is going to follow the script as you envision it. So this is all bets are off. Whatever you thought was going to happen, you can toss that aside, because no matter how orderly or organized or detail-oriented you thought you might have been, something is going to go off the rail or go in another direction. And either by choice, because you've decided, or because you're forced to, you're going to have to step back from a situation and take a second look. You're going to have to reorient yourself to new circumstances, new information, new situations, because there's something that you're going to need to save or finish or launch or complete and you're going to have to rush to do that because of new circumstances that have entered the picture. For some of you, you're getting past a situation and you're moving quickly. You're aggressively addressing something and you're accomplishing a lot. And you're going to end up with time to spare on your hands because you're in top form. You're making sound, quick decisions. But for others of you, you're lost in the storm and things are running away with you. They're overwhelming you and your head is spinning. You, you haven't even fully uh, integrated what is going on. You're still scratching your head. So whether or not you were expecting these things, uh, something is going to happen where you have to act quickly and maybe more so than you're ready to deal with. Uh, this is get up and get moving. Get on the train or miss it. And you're going to have to really push hard to create the outcome that you want because if you just let that wind rush past you, you may be disappointed with what that outcome is. Well, the good news is you don't have any major cards, so you're largely in control. 
Now, part of this is that uh, you're doing some kind of review, you know, the, some kind of discussion or some kind of quick transaction that you need to make. Something is going on. And part of that could be some kind of message that you receive that changes your plans and you're having to act quickly and it's focused on your freedom, your independence and situations and people that affect you, affect your long range destiny. And part of it is you trying to get some kind of recognition or achieve something or some kind of success and it connects to your ambition, something that you're hoping to accomplish. Now, many of you are involved in a situation that is, has been at a, in, in a stall, a dead end, no resolution. And so an outside party, some factor, is going to step in and take control of this situation. For others of you, there's some clear goals that you have, but there's no forward movement. And for some of you, that's because there's been a fear of success. For some of you, there's a party involved, either you or the other person, where you just won't be rushed, or somebody has to really grasp and understand what the end goal is before they take action to move forward. Now, for some of you, there could be somebody in your life who is solid, who is re reliable, and yet this person is criticized or misunderstood. Perhaps you're playing that role. And so this is somebody that can always be counted on to do, do the right thing, yet they may not have a lot of popularity. This is also about recognizing your own vulnerability and that no matter how strong you may feel you are or think you are, there are still instances where you may need to lean on someone. So again, there's some kind of negative situation, something unexpected, and there's going to be some discussions about you trying to achieve something or get some kind of recognition. You're trying to gain freedom either through the past or from the past, and that's going to require you resurrecting some kind of partnership that ties to your money or your family or a corporation or the government.